All right, guys, so in this video, we are going to be taking a look at DaVinci Resolve 16.3 Beta 2 for Windows. Now, three weeks ago, when they announced the Bump 12K or the Ursa Mini Pro 12K, uh, Blackmagic Design released a beta software for Mac users only. But today, Windows users can now edit Ursa Mini Pro 12K footage inside DaVinci. So go ahead, go to their website, download the most current DaVinci Resolve 16.3 so you can go ahead and play around with the footage that I'm going to be playing around with right here. Now there is a bug, I think. Um, if you look here in my 12K uh, folder, the footage should be there. But as you can see, it's not there. So what I'm going to do is just drag and drop it from the actual folders itself so let's go ahead and drag all six files from the website this is really exciting so i know it looks painful right now but i'm pretty sure they can sort this out later on and i'm showing you guys this right now just in case you're having the same issue and then what we're going to do is change the resolution to 4K. Now I'm doing 4K because I did some testing earlier. My computer can't handle the 12K and 8K right now. But then again, this is a three-year-old computer that has a 1080 Ti. So let's go ahead and go to 4096 by 2160 DCI. Press save. I'm going to save it. My, I'm going to save my file control S. And let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, drag and drop all of our files in our timeline and then press play all right and as you can see right here it's 24 frames per second it's playing back nice and smooth uh yeah and that looks pretty good let's go ahead and turn on our scopes Control shift w and you're gonna see that here in the bottom right corner but as you can see it's not having issues playing back 4k resolution so usually what i do anyways is edit in a lower resolution since my computer is older and then what i'll do at the end is just export and change it later in a higher resolution so in a way this doesn't really bother me but if you're one to one edit in 8k or 12k resolution then yeah for me it's not working so good luck um let's go ahead and take a look at these files by turning on the metadata let's go ahead and click and see what kind of compressed ratio uh these files that they have so let's go to camera and scroll down you're gonna see that this one is a q1 and it was shot in 12k resolution from the uh, Ursa Mini Pro 12K. Um, ND filter too, that's cool. Actually it tells you the ND filter as well. Let's click on this one. This one is also Q1, Q5. I believe this is a slow motion. Yes, it is. So this is a Q5 and then we'll go here. This is 8.1, which is constant bit rate. So this is constant quality, these clips, and this is constant bit rate. 8 to 1, as you can see there, shot with a Carl size lens, 2.5, 100 millimeters. Right here is Q1 again, constant quality, and then constant quality once again. So yeah, these clips, I believe, uh, were shot by John Brawley, if I'm saying that right. He is a long-term BMC user. We're talking like 2013, 2012, maybe even before that day. So he's a really, he's pretty much the Blackmagic camera tester <laughs> i'm pretty sure he did the 4.6k as well when uh they when it came out so yeah his he is not new to these kind of test footage and he did a really good job uh testing this uh new camera so let's go ahead and go to the color page so we can go ahead and take a look uh right here you see black magic raw we're gonna go decode using clip and color science the gen 4 and gen 5 there's gen 4 Here's Gen 5. You'll see that Gen 5 is a little bit flatter than Gen 4. So that is good in my opinion. So let's go to Gen 5. Let's take a look at the gamma settings now. Let's take a look at uh, Rec 709. So you can see here. Um, let's see if I can make this bigger for you guys. There you go. Okay. So this is just straight up Rec 709. We're not going to do any CSTs right now, obviously, so this is just a quick test. And then we'll do a, um extended video, all right? And as you can see there, it has a little bit more color, which just looks a little bit more pleasing. Now, uh, the main reason I'm making this video is I really want to test my rig. And uh, it's kind of nice because I found out that I can edit 12K and 8K, so uh, that's nice. It's always nice to download footage so you can test out your own workflow. So maybe one day if I am, you know, uh, if I have enough money or something, that I can actually get the 12K maybe, you know, in 10 years from now. But uh, I'm really liking uh, this, obviously. Um, uh, granted, this is an overcast day, so that's kind of cheating. John, 
<laughs> That's kind of cheating, but you know, we'll take it. Let's go take a look at this guy right here. Looks really flat. It's nice. Let's go ahead and change it again. Here's the Gen 4. Here's the Gen 5. Gen 5 color science is really nice looking here. The ISO, uh, native ISO is 800, so that's cool. Was it shot in 800? Let's uh, take a look at that real quick. Um, even though, so yeah. It was shot in 800, so yeah, that's the native ISO of the camera. So if you're familiar with Blackmagic cameras, you have the highlight recovery here and whatnot. So let's take a look at the extended video on this clip. It's pretty nice. Um, you know, you know what? It's actually wow. It's has a little bit of vintage look to it. The new uh, color science. And let's take a look at the Rec 709, so you can kind of just see that. All right, so let's do Control Two or Alt Two, and then we'll do. Uh, I don't think I can do that. Yep. So this is Rec 709, and then extended. It's not bad, but you know I'm still gonna be waiting for one Milara to come out with a, a you know, Airy Alexa to bump 12K, which I'm pretty sure he's gonna do one day. Wink, wink. Uh, let's take a look at this one. Let's Google it real quick. Um, that's really nice. I mean. It's, I know it's flat, but it's just weird because it looks good. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, colorists out there are probably freaking out because this looks amazing. So let's take a look at the extended video here as well. And man, that is some that is some really, really good skin tones. That's insane. And it kind of sucks to be a model because... Look, look at this glitter right here. You can... The detail, look at this little thing right here. Shooting 12K has got to suck because you can see everything. Look at this little pimple right here. That's crazy. Look, I can see the small little details. And, oh man, that looks great. That looks great. Look at the eyes. That is that is well done. That's well done. That looks amazing. Oh man, I can't wait. Ten years from now when I can afford this camera, oh, it's going to look great. All right, so let's take a look at this. This is the 8-1 compressed ratio. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this. Uh, how did I shoot this? Because this has this has quite a bit of contrast in it. Was this is this Rec 709? Let's take a look at the um, the camera. It looks like, huh? Interesting. The color space is black magic design. Okay, so let's take a look. Go back to the color tab. Oh, there it is. Black magic design custom. So let's look at the film. There you go. That's what I was looking for. This is the film. This is a flat look. And then they had a custom LUT in there, what it looks like. Yeah, that's a custom LUT. Let's take a look at the extended LUT. Dude, this is crazy. This is like insane look at this okay this one's a little bit softer nah it's just a the focus plane is different so let's go back here let's go back to film my goodness dude oh so stoked this is good stuff um let's go ahead and finish off with some highlight recovery um if i go here and go here you're gonna see that some of that let me go and reset it uh, okay, so that's already where it is. Let's look at the default real quick. Okay, so that's the default clip. All right, so um, as you can see right here, you know, you can kind of see that these lights are kind of blown out. Let's see if we can, there you go, uncheck the highlight recovery. But what we'll do is, let's see how much we can get back from that. Oh, that's ridiculous. You can even go lower. <laughs> uh, one of the crazy things about Blackmagic cameras, they're pretty, they're known to have terrible shadows. But, I mean, I can, I can say right now, this is probably the cleanest shadows I have seen in a Blackmagic camera. I mean, you can see it there. Let's bring it back to 400, and I'm going to turn this down to zero. And then I'm just going to go ahead and kind of bring this down. Right there. That's some pretty darn good shadow, but obviously I have to really do my under and over exposure. But 
it can recover quite a bit of highlights, right? I think they're claiming 400. I'm sorry, they're claiming 14 stops of dynamic range at ISO 800. Uh, so, but then again, Black Magic's been really uh, safe with their black uh, with their um, what do you call it, dynamic range test and highlight recovery and whatnot. So, but that looks pretty impressive. Um, and the color rendition, uh, some of these lights, I don't even know what kind they are, but some of these cheaper ones have really bad uh, tint to it. But I think the camera is handling the light pretty well. It's obviously going for that, uh, you know, cyberpunk look. But yeah, guys, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and edit this in 4K and then export in 8K so I can kind of see how long the export time is going to be. And let's see how painful it is on trying to get this up on YouTube. Uh, I'll see you guys later.